prenatal Pilates class for you today. You do not need to be pregnant to do this class though. It is great for anyone looking to work deep core. We'll get a little triceps, some chest opening. We'll finish with some lower body. We are going to use a dish towel today. Now we're gonna use it in two different ways. We're gonna use it as a slider. And then we are also going to use it as a prop where we will hold it lengthwise and grab the ends. So if you are working out on hardwood floor, you just need a single dish towel and it'll work as your glider and as your prop. If you're working out on carpet though, you're gonna need a dish towel and then you're gonna need something else as your slider. Paper plates work well on carpet floors or those plastic disc gliders that you can buy like this. And usually they're reversible so you have a hard side for carpet and then a uh, fabric side for hardwood floors. Dish towel works fine though for me. If you are new to my classes, welcome. My name is Nicole. I'm a Stott trained Pilates instructor and I am a pregnancy and postpartum corrective exercise specialist. So you are in good hands. However, I'm not there in the room with you. So you always wanna first and foremost, listen to your doctor and listen to your body. If anything doesn't feel okay as we go throughout class, dial it down or stop. I'm not gonna label this a second trimester or third trimester class because every pregnancy is different and it really could be suitable for both for any point in the pregnancy, just depending on the person. If it helps you gauge where I am though, I'm 18 weeks along and I'm gonna be posting these videos to my YouTube channel in sequential order as I progress through my pregnancy. Okay, I know I start these classes with a long spiel, but there's a lot to say, especially in the prenatal world. I'm done though, let's get into the actual class. So we're gonna start in a comfortable cross-legged position with our warm up, And we're going to take the towel lengthwise like this, and where our hands can grip the ends. But to start, you can have hands just lightly on your knees. I want you to make sure you're open through the chest, so roll your shoulders up and back for me. Make sure we are not arching into our lower back and flaring through the ribs, so we're tall. And we're going to start by just connecting to our breath. It's the essence of everything we do in Pilates. So on the inhale, we're gonna inhale through the nose and we're gonna focus on expanding the rib cage three-dimensionally. So not just pushing out, instead think grow wider and expand into your back. And as we do that, the pelvic floor relaxes down. The exhale is slowly out through our mouth, it's audible. And as we exhale, the pelvic floor lifts. It's like a gentle Kegel is a way to describe it. And the ribs can move gently in and down. We're gonna to continue to breathe like that. In through the nose, focus on expansion and focus on relaxing the pelvic floor. You're not pushing it down, you're just relaxing it. And then as you exhale, it's that engagement of the pelvic floor, the gentle lift. Can you feel the lower abdominals brace gently? Ribs move in and down. In through the nose, slow out through the mouth. I want you to notice on the inhale, are your shoulders hunching up towards your ears? I don't want the breath to get caught up here. Think inhale, send that breath downward, expand into your diaphragm. Your diaphragm's not in your shoulders. And then as you exhale, think exhale, empty from the bottom out. So pelvic floor lifts, lower abdominals engage, ribs can move in and down. We have that supportive brace. Like you're giving your baby a little hug up and in. A couple more breaths like that. I know it's a lot of talking, but the breath is so important, especially as deep core and pelvic floor is such an important focus during pregnancy and postpartum and all through life. <laughs> One more. We're gonna keep the breath going, but we're just gonna add in a sweep of the arms. So you inhale, let's sweep those arms up overhead and exhale, lower them down. Mobilizing through the shoulder joint. Make sure you're not compensating. So it's just the arms lifting up and they're only lifting up as far as you can without arching into the back, puffing open through the front of your ribs. So if you're feeling tight through the shoulders, maybe that uh, towel, I almost said band. What are we using today? Towel, maybe it only lifts up to forehead height. Maybe you get it overhead. We're gonna hold those arms overhead. Open up a little through the side body. So next time those arms sweep up overhead, you're gonna hold them overhead. We grow tall, mirroring me. You're gonna side bend over to the right. In this side bend, I want a little rotation down. It comes from the mid spine. So you exhale, little rotation down. Inhale, face me. Exhale, come upright, stay to the same side. Side bend to the right, rotate towards the floor, back towards me, 
come up right now as we progress in the pregnancy rotation sometimes can get uncomfortable if you're feeling pulling when you do this rotation down try a little rotation up instead an open rotation sometimes feels better than rotating down across your belly so you can try that or just eliminate the rotation if that's better and you would just do the side bend now next time you are in that side bend we're going to hold and it's just that rotation down and up it's a small rotation it originates from your mid spine so we're not just turning the neck and we're not twisting through the shoulders mid spine everything follows again you can do this rotation up if that feels better or you can just hold towards me if you're comfortable with that downward rotation you're going to hold the downward rotation then let's just go back to sweeping the arms down and up holding this rotated side bent position the goal of this is to open up through our side body. As we progress in pregnancy, the side body and the mid spine can get real sticky. So we wanna to try to keep them open and mobile as long as we can through pregnancy. Next time those arms sweep overhead, hold them overhead, unrotate, come up through center. Let's do that same thing up and over to the left. Grow tall, side bend over to the left. Exhale, rotate down if it feels okay, or up, or eliminate the rotation, lots of options. So I have my summer intern here behind me helping me film, Miss Crouton. She's been a very unruly summer intern. I can't wait for her to go back to college. No help at all. <laughs> One more, then you're gonna hold that side bend. Hold the side bend and now it's just the rotation. Down and up. Exhale, rotate through the mid spine. Nice and open through that right side body. Next time you rotate down, you're gonna hold the rotation. So we're in a side bend, we're rotated, we're open through this right side body and we sweep the arms down and up, down and up. Give me four, three, two, one, arms lift overhead, untwist, come up tall, lower the arms down and just give me a couple shoulder rolls open. All right, so we're gonna come into our deep core work and we're gonna use the towel as a slider or just grab whatever you are using as a slider. So I'm gonna fold this into a nice little square and then I'm gonna come through into a tabletop position. So you'll notice I have my mat folded so that my knees have padding under them, but I have room to slide here. So you might just wanna scoot down your mat or you can fold it like I did. One nice thing about folding it is um, if your wrists bother you in tabletop work, putting the heel of your hand on a rolled mat so it's a little elevated from your fingers, that can help. Okay, so let's take our right foot onto the glider. I'm gonna be facing the side the whole time. So my right is your right today. I'm not gonna do mirror images, even though I know I just did that for the warm up. So <laughs> hopefully it's not confusing. Now we're going to keep both knees down to start and I want you to take your left elbow and I want you to bend it to 90 degrees. And we're gonna start with just a bent fly on this right or this left side. So as you exhale, you're gonna open that arm up and open to the left and bring it down. Elbow stays bent at 90. We're focusing on getting that gliding motion of our scapula. So keep going but just to show you from the back what our shoulder blade is doing. It glides inward, comes through center, glides in towards our spine and wide. As that arm opens up, we don't flare through the front of our rib cage. So you're thinking, exhale, brace to the core, lift to the pelvic floor, fly the arm open. Now let's check in with our stationary right arm. It is our support side. Let's make sure we're not sinking down into that shoulder. So instead you think push the floor away, length through the back of the neck. Exhale, reverse fly. Both hands are gonna come down. Right leg is gonna slide out and in. Really linking movement to breath. In four, three, two, one, both hands down. Now on your next exhale, it's the right leg that moves. So as you exhale, think lift to the pelvic floor, 
Engage the lower abdominals, ribs move in and down. Once you have that brace, you're going to slide that right leg out long. Inhale, slide it in. Keep moving like that with your breath. First, feel the engagement of the pelvic floor and deep core, then move the leg. So think breath first, then move, inhaling it in. So when you inhale, that pelvic floor relaxes. As you exhale, it lifts and you think, kind of hug the baby up and in towards you. As the right leg slides out, keep equal length through both sides of your waist so we're not dumping over into that left hip. Twice more, and then we're gonna kind of put the two together. Next time that right leg slides out straight, I want you to hold it straight. Now we are going to swing this right leg or slide it out to the right. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bring it back into midline. Actually, I want you to switch the breath pattern. Sorry to be confusing. I want you to exhale, take that leg out. Inhale, bring it back in. Now you can stay here just like this with just the leg sweeping out, or we can add back in that bent fly on the opposite left side. If you're going to add it in, then as the leg sweeps out, we reverse fly in that opposite left arm and we bring everything into midline. Exhale, connect to the core, move everything away from midline. Inhale, bring it back in. Now I want you to check in, how are you managing pressure? Are you feeling pressure down on your pelvic floor? Are you feeling a lot of pressure out on your midline where a diastasis can form? If you are feeling pressure that you're unable to control, then I want you to try to switch the breath pattern. Try moving out and in on the exhale. So you'd inhale to prepare, staying still. You'd exhale, brace to the abdominal wall, slide them out, slide them back in. Inhale in stillness move both directions on the exhale. So you can play around with that. Give me just two more. Last time. And then I want both knees to come down. You're gonna slide your bum back so it's hovering over your heels and you are going to grab that towel. You can untuck the toes. So we're going to take it lengthwise and we're gonna bring the towel behind our back. Now I want your palms facing down towards the ground on this one, gripping the ends. I want you open through the chest so you slide those shoulder blades down and back. We're in a hinge position, long through the spine. We're just gonna start with a straight arm lift. So you're just lifting those arms up and down, up and down. So we're gonna work the triceps here. We're also opening up through the front of our shoulders and our chest. Keep reaching the tailbone back. If this becomes too much in this hinged position, sit your bum all the way down on your heels, okay? Little lift, little lift. We're gonna hold those arms lifted. We'll take it into a little baby tricep kickback, bending and straightening through the elbows. And four, hold them lifted. Three, two, hold those elbows lifted. Now it's just a little bend straighten, bend the elbows, straighten. Now, if you are really tight through the shoulders and this hand position is not working for you, I would recommend using something wider than a dish towel. So like a yoga strap, for example, if you can have your hands farther apart from each other, it becomes a little more manageable. Now make sure we're not losing that connection to our core. Exhale, lift, embrace. Make sure the head isn't jutting forward, length of the neck, stay long. We're gonna hold those arms straight. We're gonna come into a hinge in four, three, two. Hold those arms straight, lift them up one more inch. Hold them lifted. Whole body comes upright, slide the hips back. Maintaining that height through the arms. Inhale, hips slide back. Exhale, lift to the pelvic floor. Engage the lower abdominals as you come up and fire through the glutes. Just three more and then we're gonna hold at the top. Two, keep reaching those arms up, open across the collarbones. Last time, hold at the top and go back to that little bend, 
extend, bend the elbows, extend. Now I don't want us to sink into our lower back, so think shoulders over hips, gentle engagement through the glutes. We're gonna combo, one little bend stretch of the elbows, one straight arm lift and lower. Bend, straighten, lift, lower, you got it. Bend, straighten. We're gonna do the other side of that deep core work. We're gonna bring this dish towel back into a slider position. It'll go under our left foot in four, three, two, one. Woo, bring that towel in front of you. So we're gonna fold it back into a square. It's going under the left foot. We're going to repeat that whole thing, other side. So while the left foot is on your towel, Hands are gonna be down on the mat. Knees stay down to start though, and we're gonna focus on just mobilizing that right side scapula. So hands under shoulders, press the mat away. Make sure you're neutral through the spine, long through the back of your neck. Bend that right elbow to 90, lift the hand off the mat, and we do that bent reverse fly. Bringing it open. Exhale. So everything we do comes back to that breath. That breath is how we kind of turn every exercise into a core exercise. So all of these prenatal Pilates classes, you are getting pelvic floor work, you are getting deep core work, and that is all such important work to be doing all through life, but especially at this stage. Doing this kind of work through pregnancy can help make healing post giving birth a little quicker, a little easier. Give me four, hands come down in three, two, one, both hands down. Now on your next exhale, we are going to slide this left leg long and inhale, we're gonna bring it in. Exhale, lift and gentle brace, slide the leg away, inhale it in. I know sometimes deep core work can seem a little tedious because it's slow going, it's very precise, linking it to our breath, and it may not be the fanciest movements and the funkiest combos, but it sets the foundation for everything else. Twice more and then you're gonna hold this leg long. Don't dump weight over to the right as the left leg slides long. Next time that left leg goes long, you're gonna hold it long. Now on your next exhale, you slide the left leg out to the left, and then we bring it back into midline. I just gotta scoot over. We exhale away from midline. Inhale it back. We're not crunching through the sides of our waist, so it is just the leg sweeping within the hip joint. So maintain equal length through both sides of the waist trying not to shift all of our weight into that outer right hip. Now you can stay like this with just the leg, or if you wanna add back in that bent fly on the opposite arm, lift that right elbow to a 90 degrees. You exhale, fly and slide, inhale back in. And remember what we talked about with changing the breath pattern. If it helps you stay more supported through your core, Go out and in on the exhale, and then just pause for your inhale. Think of the inhale as prep. Give me four. Three. Two, last time, bring everything to center, knees down, hands down, shift your bum back, untuck the toes, grab that towel. We're going to take it its longest way, bring it behind the back, 
and then flip the palms so that you're gripping the ends of the towel and your palms face down towards the floor. Roll those shoulders down your back so we're open through the chest but not flaring through the ribs. So stay connected to the core, send the hips to a hover. Straight arms lift, lift. We're not letting the top of our shoulders roll forward. Think shoulder blades gently down your back. If having your bum in a hover gets to be too much, sit your bum down on your heels, either toes tucked or feet flat, whatever works for you. We're gonna hold the arms lifted, a little bend and straighten of the elbows, baby tricep kickbacks in four, three, two, hold the arms lifted, little bend, stretch, bend, stretch, baby kickbacks. Keep reaching the tailbone back, Stay engaged through your core. So on that exhale, you're still thinking, lift the pelvic floor, little hugging of the core. We're gonna hold the arm straight, torso comes up and then hinges four, three, two. Hold those arms straight, lift them up one more inch for me. Torso comes up right, firing through the glutes. Inhale, slide the hips back, relax through the pelvic floor. Exhale, lift to the pelvic floor, fire through the glutes to come up. Try not to lose height through those arms. So we're reaching them long and lifting them up. Twice more and then we'll hold up. Last time you hinge, bring it to the top. Lift those arms one inch higher for me if you can. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Shoulders are stacked over knees. So we're not pressing the hips forward and dumping into our lower back. We're staying engaged through the core. Combo it with a straight arm lift. Bend, stretch, lift and lower. Bend, stretch, lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, woo, three, two, and one. Bring the towel in front of you. So we are going to still grip it in our hands, but it's gonna be in front of us. Palms are gonna face down. We're gonna come into some lower body work. If your mat is folded all funky though, we may just want to straighten that out. So I'm just gonna bring it long. There we go. If you want more padding for the knees, you can totally fold the mat over, or put a blanket under them. We're gonna do some kneeling work into some lunge work. So let's have the band in front of us. And I want you to make sure that you are open through the front of your hips, engaged through your glutes, and the shoulders are stacked over the hips, okay? We're gonna to try to maintain this alignment as we go into a quad lean. So we'll start with the arms down. I want you to exhale, lift the pelvic floor, feel that engagement of the abdominal wall, and then you're gonna quad lean back as the arms lift up to chest height. Inhale, bring it up tall. Exhale. So we always wanna be checking in as we go through these exercises and asking ourselves, am I managing pressure okay in this exercise? And what I mean by that is, am I able to feel the lift of the pelvic floor and the brace of the abdominal wall? Or is the pressure going in the other direction? Am I feeling pressure down on the pelvic floor, out on my midline? If you are feeling that pressure out and down and you're not able to manage it, then it's a sign maybe this exercise is not what's best for you or you need to dial it down. So think from knees to shoulders, stays in the same line, it just changes angle. So I'm not sending my butt back, I'm active through the glutes, holding the hips open, whole body leans back and forward. In four, we're gonna hold the quad lean. Three. Two. Next time you quad lean back, you're gonna hold that quad lean as you exhale. Arms are gonna sweep up. 
Inhale them down. Don't worry if you're not getting biceps all the way in line with ears. Just lift and lower as high as you personally can. Keep squeezing through the glutes. If you lose that engagement through the abdominal wall, come upright, okay? And you would just do this in a full kneel. You're gonna give me four. We're gonna come into a hip hinge. Three, and we'll start work on the right side. Two, one, you're gonna come up, arms come down by your side. So now instead of the quad lean, we're going to do a hinge. So you're going to send your bum back. And as you exhale, we're gonna come up and you're gonna bring your right foot forward into a lunge as the arms sweep overhead. Both knees down, bum hinges, dish towel lowers. Exhale it up into our lunge, arms overhead. So think exhale, lift to the pelvic floor, brace to the core, step that right foot with as much control as possible. As you step the right foot forward, you fire through the glutes. Arms sweep overhead. In four, we're gonna hold in this lunge and switch it up. Three. Two, ooh, that one was a little wobbly. One, much smoother. Now I want you to tuck your left toes under. Keeping the arms overhead, arms as in line with the ears as possible, but you can always lower a little bit. We're gonna lift that left knee, straightening the left leg. Your torso hinges forward. So at the top of this hinged lunge, my shoulders are over that front right knee. And then you're just gonna drop that left knee down to the mat. Hands to the ceiling, hands to the wall in front of you, just changing the angle of our body. So the right knee stays bent. It's the left knee that is bending and straightening. And our body kind of moves in accordance like a lever. We hold the lunge in four. The hinged lunge, I should specify. Three. Two. Come up that back, left leg is straight, hold. Now I want you to make sure your hips are square, so you may need to pull that left hip forward a little bit, shift that right hip back a little bit. Just lower the arms down and sweep them up, down and up, long through the spine, reaching the hips back. We're gonna do the same thing. We'll start with that hinge to a step forward into our lunge. This time the left foot will step forward in four, Three, two, one. Back left knee comes down, right knee comes down, towel is lowered to your side. It's gonna be that hinge to that step forward. You can untuck the toes if you'd like. So the bum slides back in your hinge. As you exhale, lift to the pelvic floor, brace to the core, left foot steps forward, arms overhead, kneeling split lunge. Inhale it back, exhale. Initiate the exhale, feel the core kick in, then move. It's gonna help you with stability through the movement. We want the movement as smooth as possible. Our right hip and right side glutes are doing a lot of stability work as well through this. So really fire into the right side glutes as you come up. In four, we hold. Three. Two. One, holding the split lunge, tuck your right toes under. And now we're going to lift that back right knee. On the exhale, we're gonna hinge forward, hinged lunge. Inhale, drop the right knee down, torso upright, torso at that angle. You can think of your back right knee as controlling the angle change. Inhale, it's that hug of the baby with your deep core, lift and hinge. 
Left knee stays bent. We stay pretty low on that left side. Give me four. Three. Two. Right knee lifts up. Pause in this hinge lunge position. Square the hips. So slide left hip back, right hip forward just a smidge. Make sure they're level. You lower and lift the arms. Now we're challenging shoulder mobility here, but we're not compensating. So don't jam the arms up as high as you can if that causes your back to arch and your ribs to flare. Length through the back of the neck. Whoo! We're going to finish class with a second round of those quad leans to center off in four, three, two, one, right knee comes down, left knee steps back, knees are hips distance apart, arms down by your side, shoulders stacked over hips, neutral through the pelvis, engage through our glutes. Exhale, feel the connection, quad lean back, arms lift. Inhale it up. Only lean back as far as you can, maintaining that pelvic floor and core connection. In four, we're gonna hold back. Three. Two. Next time you quad lean back, hold it back, open through the chest, fire through the glutes. Exhale, arms lift, inhale, lower, lift and lower. If you're unable to manage the pressure, I want you doing this upright instead of holding in the quad lean, okay? We're not dumping into the lower back. Stay really fired through the glutes. Give me just four and then you're done with class. We'll cool it down, three. Two, woo, and one. I want you to stay in a full kneel. Just toss the towel off to the side. We're gonna do a body swing. So on an inhale, I want you to reach your arms overhead. And as you exhale, just let the arms swing down to your side. And up. Inhale, exhale, let them go. Hold for the inhale, exhale. One more like this. And now we're gonna add in a little spinal flexion with it. So we're gonna nod the head and I'll show you from the side. So same deal, inhale to prepare, exhale, swing it down and up, inhale, exhale. This might feel a little silly, but it is so energizing and I kind of love it at both the start and the end of class once more. And lower those arms. So I want you to cross at the ankles and sit your bum back, coming into a cross-legged position. One hand on either knee, and let's just trace some body circles here. Awesome job today. And switch direction of those circles. And let's finish class with a moment of stillness. We can kind of reconnect to our breath. You can sort of do a body scan, check in with how you're feeling after that. Sitting up nice and tall, you can close your eyes if you'd like. And just take a few breaths here, not overthinking them, checking in with how you feel after that. Hopefully you have a good buzz of energy running through you. And you can stay here as long as you'd like. If your eyes were closed though, and you're ready to come out of it and wrap it up for the day, you can open your eyes. Awesome work today. I hope you enjoyed class. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new prenatal Pilates classes every Tuesday and Thursday for the foreseeable future or 
until I'm not pregnant anymore. <laughs> so if you enjoyed Glass, be sure to subscribe. You can also support me by leaving a super thanks, which is the heart button with a dollar sign in the middle at the bottom bar. It's like YouTube's version of tipping and it's so appreciated. Also sharing with your friends. If you know someone, a family member, a friend who's pregnant and could benefit from these classes, I would so appreciate you sharing them. All right, thanks for moving with me today and I will see you next time. Thank you.